Say what? And he's gone. Uh, can you hear me? Hold on, I gotta fix my audio's coming out my uh, monitor instead of my headphones. I've got some... my freaking headphone cable is messed up today for some reason. Uh, okay, keep talking. Hey, uh... Alright, there we go. Okay. I don't know if the stream can hear me or not, but that's alright. They might be able to hear you, but not me, so that's even worse. Anyway. That would be fantastic. Uh, what are you streaming to, YouTube? Yeah. What's your username? Just Mike Schold. <laughs> Let's give this a go. Live building the fanless home lab server. There was one person watching. Yeah. Um, sadly, I think the power supply that I ordered for this did not actually show up. Um, so I'm going to actually check my order real quick and make sure I didn't screw that up when I ordered it. While nice. I dig through the uh, pile of stuff. Make sure I got all the screws and parts and everything else that's supposed to be in here. Good decision. Yeah, both audio works by the way. Okay. Your stream picks up both. It's going through uh, the Android phone through an IP webcam app to open Broadcaster and then to YouTube. That is fancy. <laughs> okay, there's 15 of, I'm thinking it's this one. Put it in the tray over here. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, so that's right. Four by six hex screws. Four of them. Jeez. Looks like there's a lot more than four of those. Unless I into the wrong thing. Oh shit, there's an extra one of these too. <clears throat> okay. Well here, let's put that in this little slot. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> shit. So there's, there's this parts list over here, and there's this parts list over here. And they seem to like. They're not. Did I miss something? I don't think I missed anything in the box. I mean, I have video of it, so I can always go back and look, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, because see, I'm missing like. These metal screws, these plastic screws. Interesting. All right, well, this thing is saying 16 of those, so I do have that count then. Uh, each one. Four little tiny silver screws. One, two, three, four. I also have all of those. Cuphead hex screw, eight pieces. Cuphead, so that's these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Four pieces, round head, okay, I have four of those. Okay, so all the screws are here. So that's good. The Intel bottom rack, which is the one I need. Put this back. <coughs> um, 
H5. These are the... Come on. Harder to pick up than I thought they would be. I don't see the straight ones, but maybe they only give you the Intel ones. Did you order this from a guy or from a company? From a company. It's, they've got a full like website and all that. Gotcha. It's like the most highly recommended case for this type of build that I could find, so... And why the fuck is my Discord being so loud? There we go. Alright. Let's see... Hopefully the, uh, yeah, I still need to look at this power supply thing. So, when I ordered it, here, let's look at the order slip that I've got, which I may or may not be able to reach with my headphone cord being this short. Here it is. Okay. So, I think what ended up happening is I have a DC to ATX converter, so I need the DC little plug power supply thing, which mm -hmm. is just like a laptop one. Um, I can probably just use my old universal one with all the adapter tips for now, until I can order one that's a little less generic and gross. Because I was expecting what I looked at. I'll see if I can pull this up on the... Yeah, I think I ordered the wrong one. There's 260 watt products that they have. And I think I just picked the wrong one on the drop down when I ordered it. Because one of them is like a power supply that's internal to the... Actual... Yeah, that's why. So I ended up with this deal, which is the converter, once it mm -hmm. pops up on the stream. If it is, I might have broke the stream. No, it looks like it's going. <coughs> and it was supposed to be like a full-on power supply that's all heat sicked out itself that goes on the inside of the case. So I just picked the wrong one in the drop down when I ordered it, I guess. I wonder if I can look at my order history on the website. Order history. Hmm. The order ID is not coming back with anything. Looks like they use a different ID format than what the website actually has now. Oh well. Like I said, I'll just have to fake it with a laptop power supply until I can get something better. It's probably better that way anyway. It'll keep the heat outside the case. Okay, back to the list of parts. plastic screw holder back. So that's these guys. Which apparently for the AMD version of the case, or if you put AMD inside of it, um, you actually have to modify these. Like, literally cut them in half. Wow. Luckily I'm not doing that. Um, bottom holder and double tape things. Four of those. And four of the tape things. Okay. This is actually probably good that I don't have the internal power supply too because I'm not going to be able to fit all the hard drives in with all the cables that go with if I did, I don't think. Alright, and I did not see the dumbbell tool. I do have the thermal paste, but where is... one of these. Hmm. 
I think that's missing. It's a little thing that smears the paste in all the grooves mm -hmm. for the heat channels for the heat pipes to go to. So that's disappointing. Okay. We'll have to just fake that as well. It is wicked hot in here also. So I will not be doing any temperature testing on this thing tonight, even if I do get it booted up. Alright, I got the heat pipe. Uh, base plate is this one. Aluminum top plate. Thermal paste. Yeah, so just the dumbbell tool is all that's missing. Well, oh well. Okay. I guess it's time to start building. Maybe there might be another page in there. Oh no, Jesus, these are thick. Stall four feet with rubber cushion to the bottom plate. Okay. I do think it's a little odd how much of this you have to do yourself, but <laughs> that probably keeps the cost down. I suppose so. So these things. This is four pieces C. So C was no. Four pieces C. Well, C absolutely is not rubber feet. And these aren't either. Bottom holder and double tape. Yeah, I'm not entirely stoked about already not being able to find, <laughs> like, so it seems like this entire left half here is missing. So this is the heatsink system. This is the chassis. Top plate, bottom plate was the two, the right and left side panels. The back plate for Mini ITX is this. The face plate, which is brushed black, which is this. Four aluminum feet with cushion, which I thought was those, but maybe not. <sighs> Interesting. I don't know if I'm going to actually be able to do this. <laughs> Let me just double check all the boxes again to make sure I didn't miss something obvious. Got nothing here. That's pretty clearly empty. Bunch of foam. Another empty box. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I think there's just missing stuff. This is the bag that it all came in, <coughs> and it's also empty. So, 
Well, let's see how many steps I can do without having to email the guy and ask for why I don't have any of the parts I'm supposed to have. His name is Larry. From what I can tell on the forums, he seems like a cool guy. So, we'll find out. <coughs> Alright, moving on. Let's see, this goes through... Pretty much, it's just all pictures, which is nice. Yeah, this is like super fancy printed manual here. It's <coughs> really too bad all the parts are missing. And the labels are off. Well, I it's think. Insane. Yeah. It's not the pads. Yeah, that one's... Unless it's labeled in the picture and I'm missing. Install SSD on the bottom plate using four pieces D and SATA power on data cable with flat connector. H1S has two additional installation positions. This step is optional. Install side IO PCB using three copper post. Side IO PCB. So... That's the power thing. I think the side IO PCB is also missing. Really? <laughs> like, oh man. See if I can see what any of that stuff is talking about in these other photos. So the side, one of these sides should have a hole in it for that. I think that's USB ports. Yeah, so this side has Ethernet and double USB and what maybe a the power jack spot probably. <coughs> I would guess. But. So if I put the power. The power one doesn't work in this. The screw holes for the power thing do not match any of the holes in this piece of metal. Like, you can't line it up at any angle. <laughs> God, seriously, guys. I have no idea how I'm supposed to build this thing then without any of the circuitry. So I think I'm going to have to kill this stream deal. Yeah, so I need this side thing. Um, where's the back panel that this came with? This thing. Yeah, the power guy can't go on this either. There's no... <sighs> Come on. <coughs> see what, disappointing. Yeah, I want to see what kind of holes my motherboard is going to fill here. So I just need the little back plate. I'm sure that's in the box somewhere. There it is. So if this were on as such, and this would go probably there, yeah, so I'm just straight up missing parts. There's, yeah, just, there's just no way to fill these holes with what I've got here. So, let's bring the motherboard back where it belongs, away from the cat.
Alright, well, I guess I'll kill the stream, because I'm not going to even try to start putting stuff together until I have all the pieces, so. Yep. Apologies. <laughs> oh well. Maybe next time. <laughs>